The Triton advertising platform is a powerful, flexible tool for dynamic ad insertion. This will be an overview of the platform, rather than an exhaustive look at all possible options. So if you need to find something specific, or just want to learn more, check out the user guide at userguides.tritondigital.com under new tap user guide, or access it from tap by going to the user guide. In order to show you how TAP works, we'll first give you a rundown of the three foundational components that are vital to dynamic ad insertion, or DAI. And together, these three entities make up the DAI stack. These are an advertiser, a campaign, and a flight. An advertiser is the buyer of the ad, in some cases, but not always. For example, an agency may be doing the buying of your inventory, but not be the advertiser themselves. The advertiser is always the provider of the product or service that is being advertised. The most important aspect of an advertiser is ensuring they're set to the right IAB category, which determines ad separation, but more on this to come. A flight is the main moving part of dynamic ad insertion containing the ad creative that's being delivered, and the targeting and rules around where and when that advertisement is served. A campaign is essentially a container for flights. In order to start delivering ads for a campaign, it requires an advertiser, at least one flight, and a team. However, its date range, value, and targeting attributes are all taken from the flights contained within the campaign. So in this sense, a campaign is dynamic, rather than created on its own. To extend a campaign or to add to its value, simply edit a flight or create a new one. Forecasting. Before we create a campaign and at least one flight for that campaign, we can use the tools in TAP to see that we have enough available inventory for it. This means checking that your other flights from other campaigns aren't already going to fill your available inventory. To check this, we can head to Forecasting, then check on the available impressions, or spots, for the date range and position you're looking for. Please note that Forecasting uses the previous 28 days of performance data. So if you're just getting started, please allow up to 28 days of performance before forecasting is at its peak. The inventory available section is powerful, and we could go deep on it, but I'll instead refer you to the user guide. For the purpose of this overview, just know that you can easily determine if you're overbooked for your forecasted inventory. One other thing before we start is Teams within TAP. Every user in TAP must belong to at least one team, but this can be the team that's already included in TAP called default. More teams can be created and a user can belong to multiple teams. When you create a user, please be aware that they must already exist in the Triton Digital Streaming Console. If you need any assistance with this, please contact Triton Support on support desk at tritondigital.com. Users are given a role and these roles determine the functions the user can perform in TAP. If a user does not have sufficient access to perform an action, they'll receive a message stating this. Now that we're across the three main parts of the DAI stack, the advertiser, campaign, and flight, and have our users and teams set up, we're ready to start trafficking some ads. Even though you can create these whenever you need, we're going to go in the following order creating an advertiser, then a campaign, then a flight. But please be aware that within TAP, you don't have to follow this order. It's best practice to have your advertiser record be as descriptive as possible. For instance, if you're working with multiple departments or locations of a business within a larger organization, decide on a format for making the specific unit or branch of this advertiser clearly labeled in the advertiser name. This is because each advertiser name must be unique and will make your life easier for reporting. So let's create a new advertiser. On the tap sidebar, we can click advertisers, 
then New Advertiser. Or from the home page, we can click New Advertiser. Please note an advertiser will need to be associated with every campaign. This means even if you're running house ads or a filler campaign, an advertiser will still need to be associated with it. To create an advertiser, fill out the following. The advertiser name. Please note the name must be unique. The currency is usually the currency of the advertiser's country. Select the advertiser's IAB categories, Tier 1 or Tier 2, from the drop-down list. IAB categories ensure accurate ad separation based on industry. Multiple IAB categories can be selected, but we advise that a single IAB category, Tier 1 or Tier 2, be selected. To prevent back-to-back -back insertions of the same creative, or an ad from the same advertiser, or from the same IAB category, Triton set a default ad separation setting. The default allows an advertiser or industry a maximum of one appearance per break. Optionally, you can create your own rule if you'd like to be different from this default. Once you're finished, you can click Create Advertiser. Or in this case, let's create the advertiser and immediately create a campaign. You can now use this advertiser across multiple campaigns, and you can update the details of an advertiser at any time. Now it's time to look at campaigns. A campaign is essentially a container for flights. In some ad servers, these are called line items. But in TAP, it's called a campaign. Just remember that flights are where you set your impression goal, your ad rates, time ranges, and specific targeting. But to be able to create a flight, we must first create a campaign. You can create a new campaign from the home page or from the flights page. To create a campaign, you'll need to set an advertiser. This selection can't be changed after the campaign has started to deliver impressions. A campaign name, which must be unique within the campaigns created for this advertiser. And a team, which also can't be changed after the campaign is started. You then have access to add additional information to this campaign, if required, including an account executive. We recommend selecting an account executive for the purposes of reporting. You can also select the trafficker for this campaign. We also recommend selecting this for the purposes of reporting. If you need to add a record to the campaign from another system, you can do so in external ID. And you can enter any notes for your reference or for anyone else who has access to this campaign. When that's all filled out, you can either create the campaign or save the campaign as a draft. A draft campaign will not start delivering even if all of its targeting criteria are met until it's approved. Now we have a campaign, it's time to create a flight. You can create a flight and add it to any campaign or create a flight from inside a campaign. We're showing you now how to create a flight from inside a campaign. First, give the flight a name. A flight name must be unique, so even though you can easily copy the campaign name, you will need to further customize this if you've already created a flight and given it the campaign's name. We recommend you name the flight as descriptively as possible, which will make retrieval from your flight list much easier. Then, give the flight a start and end date. You can use TAP's tools here to make it easy, including a start today selection and presets to choose an appropriate end date. Next, we need to give the flight a priority level. Sponsorship is the highest priority, and this flight will run before lower priorities. Filler is the lowest priority. To make this easier, TAP uses a numbering system from 3 to 16, and the lower the number, the higher the priority. What this means in practice is a lower priority will not deliver until the higher priority flights are all delivered to their pacing goals. The combination of type and level sets the number between 3 and 16. This is one factor that comes into play in the competition logic to determine the eligibility of a flight for an ad request. For clients trafficking programmatic ads from the Triton Audio Marketplace, please be aware that this inventory is assigned a value of 12 in terms of priority. 
so any priority lower than 12 in TAP will win over programmatic ads inserted from the Triton Audio Marketplace. And anything over 13 will lose to programmatic impressions. A flight in TAP with a value of 12 will beat a programmatic impression. Pacing determines how quickly the flight will deliver. Even distributes impressions based on the flight state range and impressions goal. As the flight delivers, the system adjusts its delivery based on the remaining impressions needed to reach its goal before the flight ends. This ensures consistent delivery throughout the duration of the flight. As fast as possible, delivers ads as eligible impressions become available, and the flight wins the competition logic, assuming no other eligible flights have a higher priority. Net rate is the price the advertiser is paying the publisher. Gross rate is the full price of advertising, including any relevant agency commission. In TAP, once the flight is saved, the gross rate will copy the net rate if no value has been added. If this flight has an impressions goal, once it's reached, the flight will stop delivering. But if it has no goal, then just tick the box and delivery will continue as long as the flight is running, and as long as it's the winner of the competition logic. Please note that flights without an impressions goal don't contribute to competing flight data in availability reporting. Delivery methods. TAP is used by podcasting, live streaming, and on-demand publishers. So you can specify which delivery method you want this flight to target. Select the marker type or types to target with this flight. You can select any combination of pre, mid, or post roll. Impressions served on a multi-position flight will depend on their eligibility, how they win the competition logic. So it is possible for a flight targeting pre- and post-rolls to win more pre-roll impressions than post-roll impressions, or vice versa, depending on the outcome of the competition logic. Behind a multi-method and multi-position flight is a shared impressions goal. This allows impressions across positions to be uneven, but the flight to pursue that single goal. Please note that a flight's creative can play in all three positions, pre, mid, or post, in a single podcast download or stream if allowed by the relevant caps. Speaking of caps, this is a rule based on a threshold of how many times this flight can be served to a unique listener per hour, per break, or per podcast download, depending on method. Note that this is not a goal, so a rule of no more than three impressions of this flight to a unique listener every hour, could serve up to three impressions every hour, but doesn't affect the competition of how many impressions the flight will win. Targeting. Targeting is one of the most powerful aspects of TAP. You can target listeners very broadly or very narrowly, or anywhere in between. Generally speaking, broadly targeted ads have more delivery opportunities, but are typically charged at a lower rate and narrowly targeted ads have fewer delivery opportunities, but are more valuable when they do deliver. Targeting falls into three main categories, content, listener, and time. TAP's rules are either inclusion or exclusion based, making them even more powerful. You can even include both into the same rule and add conditionalities through and or rules. Because these rules allow for so much flexibility, we recommend trying them out and reading the in-depth TAP user guide if you need further guidance. Before we move on to creative, we'll need to create this flight. So we'll hit create flight. We can now put the ad in our dynamic ad insertion and add the creative. TAP's creative functionality allows for the easy upload of creative along with the selection of creatives saved to a library, and the ability to support multiple creatives if needed. To get started in the Flight's Creative section, click the Frequency Creative Manager. Then select the duration of your audio creative in the pop-up panel. We're going to upload a new creative, just by dragging and dropping it. We can then preview the creative to make sure it's what we want. If you're trafficking on demand or streaming inventory, 
then you can also set a companion banner to accompany the creative. This is also where you can set an audio impression pixel. Now we've added one creative, we can add more. Flights can hold multiple creatives, and you can change the weighting of each one. Or leave the default of equal delivery across each creative. You can also activate sequential distribution. If you have a number of creatives that you want to play in a particular order over the course of a unique listener's listening session. You can also schedule creative to rotate, allowing you to swap out creative mid-flight or to have your creative rotate on a specific time and date. Creative management in TAP through the Frequency Creative Manager is worthy of its own overview, and we recommend you read the TAP user guide for a full guide on creative management. Once we've done all our hard work of creating advertisers and campaigns, and started to traffic ads on our inventory through our flights, we might be ready to start seeing the fruits of our labor. And the best way to do this is through the reports available to you from TAP. To access this, we click on Metrics. And your browser will open a new tab in metrics.tritondigital.com. Going to TAP Reports, TAP Explore, and Dashboard, you can easily get daily and monthly snapshots of impressions on a program, across multiple programs to compare performance, or check on run of network campaigns that are targeted across many programs. To get campaign level data, you can build a query through the Explore page. A query can be saved to be used as a template. It can also be scheduled to be sent on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis to a selected user. Let's now talk about affidavits and TAP. Affidavits are certified proof of performance reports that prove to the advertiser how many impressions were generated or spots played. You can create an affidavit report for a specific campaign, publisher, or advertiser. You can access these from TAP for each of your campaigns. Though please note that while a campaign is in progress, an affidavit is not yet final, and won't be until a campaign has been completed for a full day. In order to have an affidavit delivered, there is a save and schedule feature in TAP, they can have an affidavit delivered to an email address. To view an affidavit, click on Options for the Campaign from the Campaigns list and view Campaign Affidavit. Alternatively, you can view affidavits from metrics.tritondigital.com. Campaign affidavits can be generated as both a summary and as a detailed report. Summary affidavits provide a basic overview of how a campaign performed, how many impressions were served between two dates, and the campaign name. Detailed affidavits provide a complete recap of the entire campaign. When an affidavit is exported, you'll get both the summary and detailed report. For even more information on the Triton ad platform, you can find a detailed user guide linked in this video description, or from userguides.tritondigital.com. We hope you enjoy using TAP to power your dynamic ad insertion and meeting your publishing and advertising goals. Thank you for your time.